What's up guys, my name is Sir Buckhead and welcome back to vlog. Now I know I've been doing a lot of stuff like the montage and the other vlog last week, but I just feel like I need to talk to you guys more. And the other reason is because I didn't really know what to record today. I felt a little burnt out. I had... I, I can't even talk. Yeah, that's probably the number one reason. I can't talk today. I... I... But seriously, I just feel like I don't talk to you guys enough. I want to tell you guys what my goals for the future are and what I have in mind. But this is something I wanted to talk about for a long time now, and that's improving on YouTube. I want to improve everything about this channel. The games, the gameplay, the commentating skills. Yeah, I'm really bad at commentating skills. Every time I set this camera up, my mind goes blank. I have no idea why, but every time I'm not on camera, I can talk for hours and hours by myself. I'm not lonely. I don't talk to myself. Well, actually, no. Uh, you no, Cut. Okay, starting now, I'm going to try to do vlogs all in one take, and I know that seems impossible because it, it, it is impossible. <laughs> I'm so crap at this. You know how I just challenged myself to do this whole vlog in one take? That's probably not going to happen. I'm going to just diverge back to the topic that I'm trying to talk about, and that's improving on YouTube. Mainly, I want to improve my commentating skills because I feel like it could be better. I want to be more unique about my videos. I don't want it to be like a casual let's play and my mouth is getting kind of dry right now. One second. I don't want it to be like a casual let's play. I want to show the funny moments because that's the kind of stuff I want to watch. That's the kind of stuff I love to watch. But that's not the kind of stuff I make. But that's the kind of stuff I want to make. And I want to get better at making that stuff. But first, I need to improve. And to improve, I need to do something. I, I don't know what I'm saying right now. Okay, let me start off with this. I love being on YouTube and I want this to be my future. I don't want anything more than to be a full-time YouTuber and I have quite the long journey to go but you guys are I am so thankful you I I can't talk right now I ah. okay so let's start off with this I love being on YouTube I don't know what's so magical about it, maybe it's the games, maybe it's the editing, but it's mostly you guys, the three combinations of that. It's just making entertainment, making someone's day, making their day just a little bit better, including my life and their life with my videos. It's so cool and it's something I want to make a future about. I want this to be my future. I want to create. I always love creating. Most of my talents involve creating, but my talents don't really involve a future career because all the careers I want to do, they don't set a path for me. Like, I, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but this is super risky. I want to be a full-time YouTuber but I have no idea if that's going to work or not. I worry every day that my channel could come crashing down, but you guys keep on supporting me and it keeps on letting me know that I love being on YouTube. And I, I, I wanna keep on doing this, but first I need to improve myself. Like I was saying before, this channel, it's, it's. You know, one of my weaknesses about making vlogs are I have no idea where I left off of my last rant. I'm pretty sure I just messed up on my other clip. And then now this is becoming like a jumbled mess. Pretty sure I left on, I love YouTube. You guys make it awesome and awesome. <laughs> and I want to make this my future. Now, where do I go from that is the question. So like I was saying, I don't want to be the typical let's play gamer YouTuber. I want to include some funny moments because, like I said, that's the kind of stuff I want to watch because that's the kind of stuff I love to watch. But I don't know how to improve my commentating skills enough to be able to make a joke. Or I'm too scared to make a joke because I'm not comfortable with this creepy camera staring in my face. Or maybe it's because I've never been much of a speaker, you know? I've always been laid back, you know, talking to myself. I don't talk to myself. Actually, I'm talking to myself right now, but I'm talking to you guys through the camera. And that's what makes YouTube so awesome. I could spread my ideas around the entire world 
with this one piece of crappy camera and YouTube. Okay, let me just tell you guys, I'm not hyper, I'm not drunk. This is just what's going on in my head right now. And even my head is confused on what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, I want to improve on YouTube enough so that people like my content. And you guys, I think most of you guys like my content. I mean, I'm proud of what I'm creating right now, but I want to create better stuff. I want to create stuff that I'm proud of every day, stuff that makes my day better, stuff that makes your day better. I just want to make YouTube my future, and to make it my future, I have to go above and beyond. I need to reach the bar, I need to do something different that no one has ever done before. But I don't know how to do that, because I just play games, how do you make a game unique with your commentating skills? How do I make my commentating skills unique? I have no idea. How do I improve? I don't know. Improve? Am I improving right now? My future's kind of misty right now. I have no idea what I want to do in life. Actually, that's a lie. I know exactly what I want to do in life. But it's not what I have to do in life. Because in life, you have to survive, you have to get a job, and it may not be the job you want to get, but that's not how I want to live. I want to live with the job I want, but that's not how life works, and I really hope my life works out with YouTube. I want to become a full-time YouTuber, but I worry every day that it will come crashing down on me, that I'll fail, and I'll have nothing left to do. I have a whole bunch of talents. They all involve in something creative or creating something, but they don't give me a steady future. All of the talents, all of the stuff I want to do, all of the jobs, they're risky. They don't give you a good life. They either give you a really good life or a really bad life. They don't give you an in-between life and I can't find a job that I would love more than to be a full-time YouTuber. And holy crap, that was a pretty good rant. I didn't even mess up, I'm... Oh, dang, I just messed up. Oh, by the way, I feel so bad that I always replace my vlogs with gaming videos. Or some days I do double up, but I can't do double up today because my creativity right now is absolutely zero. I feel a little burnt out now. I really hope I don't feel burnt out tomorrow. I'm not going to take a break, you know. Breaks are not for me. I don't like breaks because it just feels weird. And I love recording videos, but I want to record good ones, if you know what I mean. I don't want to record something that I'm not proud of. I don't like doing that. It just doesn't feel right. And I really do feel like this vlog is helping with my commentating skills. I actually feel you know, comfortable with talking to the camera now. I don't feel weird or anything. Well, now the awkwardness is coming back. I'm kind of feeling weird right now. I might have to do another cut right now. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. But... I sometimes get random moments like those where I have no idea what to say, and they suck. I want to get rid of them. But how? I keep on asking how, and obviously you guys have no idea what's going through my mind right now. You guys don't know how to control my mind. I don't even know how to control my mind. What am I saying right now? What I'm trying to say is I want to be like the other YouTubers, but I want to be unique at the same time. The other YouTubers who could talk, who could talk to their camera like all day without having to cut or worry about stumbling over their words. But I want to be unique and have someone come to my channel saying, ooh, this guy does pretty cool stuff, I've never seen it before. Or this guy has a pretty good commentating style, I love his style. And that's exactly what I want to do. I always ask myself this question, it's only been three months on YouTube, but how am I going to succeed on YouTube? and be proud at the same time. How am I supposed to get exposure? And I know it comes with time, but time also comes with randomness, and if you invest in YouTube, you're either doing something really risky or really good. 
And right now I'm doing something really risky <laughs> that I hope that's really good. I really hope it's good. I feel like this whole entire vlog is just a whole bunch of bloopers about me trying to say something important. And I feel like I already said what's important, but I have no idea if I said what's important. I know you guys are super confused right now because I am super confused right now. Let me see. I want to improve my commentary. I feel a little burnt out, but I feel better now. YouTube is something magical. And it's something I want in the future. And you guys make it so positive. And now I want to talk about games. The games are, you know, a little fuzzy right now. I have a whole bunch of series on my channel, but I don't know what to play. And that was the biggest problem today. I didn't know what to play. I didn't feel like playing any of the games we had on our series or on our channel. On the channel. On Sir Buckethead. Okay. So I didn't know what game to play. I let. Oh, cut. So I didn't know a game to play today, so I went on itch.io, and that's where usually all the indie short games are. And every time I try to record one of those, I just didn't feel it. I didn't know how to be unique with it. And every time I'm making a video, I worry about if I'm entertaining enough, or if an outside source could find it besides my subscribers so we could grow our channel because that's how I'm going to make it full time. We need our channel to grow, but I also want to keep the positivity. And that's really hard. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys make my day every time I get a comment. It's not the video that makes my day, unless it's a, unless it's a very awesome video that makes me super proud. But even then, those videos might not get a lot of views. It's not the views that make me happy. It's the interaction. I'm pretty sure I said this a whole bunch of times before, but I love interacting with you guys. It makes my day this much more special. Like, this much more awesome. Because I've sacrificed a lot of things doing YouTube. My health, my time. I wake up very early in the morning to edit. Good thing I'm on Thanksgiving break right now, but tomorrow's not going to be break. That's gonna suck. But I just wanted you guys to know that if it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing YouTube anymore because YouTube is something I found positive. If YouTube was a negative thing, then who wants to be doing a negative thing for the rest of their life? It wouldn't be a dream job for me. But this is a dream job, and you guys make it possible. I feel like I've had like 10 different epiphanies within this vlog, but I know exactly what I need to do to improve. And that's to be open with you guys. And am, am I being open right now? I have no idea. Is my commentating skills good? I have no idea. I have no idea about a lot of things, and I just let fate, you know, do its thing. Hopefully it goes well. You know, sometimes I wish I could go to the future and see how YouTube is turning out for me. I don't want it to look like that I'm doing YouTube just to make a job out of it, to make a good living out of it. I want to make a good living out of it so I could keep on doing it because I love it. It's not a job to me. It's, what would you call it? It's a dream, something you'd love to do you'd love to do. It's something so awesome. Something so hard to explain. There's a lot of factors when you're doing YouTube. You have to worry about what game is relevant if you're a gamer YouTube. You have to worry about your commentating skills if you're bad or good at commentating, which I have to worry about both of these things because I'm a gamer YouTuber and my commentating skills aren't that great. You have to worry about what people want to see. Because YouTube, even though you're doing mighty fine right now, even though if you're like doing super good on YouTube, it could all come crashing down at any second. If YouTube decides to explode their company or something, you know, to just quit, then so many people are without a job. And that's what's so risky about it. And what's risky for me is 
I'm not even doing good on YouTube yet. Actually, I take that back. I'm doing awesome on YouTube. I am doing phenomenal for how big and small my channel is. I am doing awesome. But career-wise, future-wise, I can't compete with all the other YouTubers yet. And I don't want it to look like a competition. I just want to be on YouTube. I want... I don't want to make it look like I'm trying to milk off of YouTube for money. I want... to be a YouTuber. I want to do this for the rest of my life. There's nothing, nothing I want more than to do YouTube as a job. And it's risky because I'm not even there yet. I don't know if I'm going to be there ever, but I hope, I wish, I strive to be there. And I give up a lot of things to be there. I'd give up a lot of things to be there. But the question is future. It's really hard to see the future. And would you give up all of everything? Would you give up everything to see your future disappear? Because I wouldn't. Even though I want to be a full-time YouTuber, I don't know if it's going to work out. I wouldn't give up everything to not be a full-time YouTuber. I would give up everything to be a full-time YouTuber. But you don't know if you're going to be a full-time YouTuber. And I really hope. It's all up to fate right now. Up to my improvement skills. It's up to fate to decide if I'm going to be a full-time YouTuber. And I don't know why I'm talking about becoming a full-time YouTuber because I just started YouTube two and a half months ago. I'm not even on YouTube for a year or like six months. It's been two and a half months and I'm already talking about this. I don't even make any money off of YouTube yet because I don't want to because I don't need to support myself yet because I'm still living with my parents. But when I do live alone, when I live with myself or live with a future lover, I'm going to have to support them, but I wanna support them doing the thing I love to do. I wanna support my living, my being, doing the things I love to do. And that's what I'm afraid of. What if I can't do it, but I'm going to keep on doing it. I'm not going to give up. I'm going to keep on doing it no matter how hard it is, no matter how bad the numbers are. The numbers, by the way, are doing awesome right now. We have like 171 subs right now, almost 200. I'm not going to give up as long as I keep on seeing positivity. And I know I'm probably going to see negativity soon when I get bigger bigger stuff comes with negativity and I need to be okay with that because I know there's people out there and they're going to be people and people will always be people I'm a person I dislike stuff and I like stuff I'm just like any other person out there I'm a person with feelings and I... my mind just went blank right now. That's the thing. I go on a huge rant, and then I have no idea what to say after that. My voice cuts off, my mind cuts off, it can't comprehend what's about to happen. But I hope you guys got the message. I hope you guys found the message within this thing, because trust me, even I don't know the message right now. All I know is that I want you guys to know that I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to give up, unless I die. Unless I die, that means I'm giving up. No, actually, if I die, that, that's not my fault if I die. Okay, now I'm gonna talk about something totally unrelated, and that's the games on my channel. I've been getting a lot of game requests recently, and I always feel so bad if I see a game that I don't think I'll have a good enough commentating skill to make the video good. Every game that I'm giving a request to, it looks like a pretty fun game, a game I would love. 
but a game I wouldn't know how to commentate about. It's pretty hard to commentate about a game you don't really feel like you're gonna do good commentating about. And that just makes me feel so bad because I don't even know where I'm going with this, but I want to do every game request I get to make you guys happy, to make you guys entertained, but if I can't make the video entertaining, that just makes me feel bad, and then you guys are left unentertained. So I found a game that I'd love to play on this channel, but I don't know if you guys would love to see it. So I'm going to ask you guys right now, would you guys like to see Paint the Town Red? It looks like a pretty fun game, and there is so much potential with the workshop levels. It reminds me of Minecraft meets Clone Drone in the Danger Zone, plus its own little twist on it and uh, a whole bunch of strawberry jam. And by strawberry jam, I mean the whole bunch. I feel like I just lifted a huge weight off my chest. I feel like this is the most open I've ever been in all of my vlogs, and I want to be open like this in my games. I don't want to be serious. I don't want to have the serious tone in my games. I want to have a funny tone, but I want to open myself to allow myself to express emotions, because my biggest problem is expressing, ex expressing emotions. That's my biggest problem right now. Another epiphany just popped in my mind. I'm not good at expressing emotions. I, yeah, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at speaking. I need to work on my speaking skills. That's what I need to do. Wait, haven't I been working on my speaking skills this whole entire video? No, this video is not a test for my speaking skills. It's just trying to be open with you guys. I'm probably going to name the title of this video Improving or Improvement or something like that. But improvement takes a long time. It takes a long time. And if you're wondering why I'm looking at my screen, no, it's not because I have a script or anything. I don't have a script. I promise you guys everything. I don't have a script right now. Look, look. I'll show you my monitor if, if, if I can. Oh, this is gonna be so heavy. This is my monitor, and uh, yeah, it's just a picture of Sir Buckethead because that's uh, how sad I am. But no script, no nothing. It's just uh, me being open. Me being open. Just a whole bunch of ranting, and now my computer is in a weird spot. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of games I would love to play, but I'm kind of scared that you guys wouldn't enjoy it. Because, take a look at my about page, it talks about the three factors. Uh, I love playing games I love to play, I play games that you guys would love to see, and it has to be somewhat relevant on YouTube. I can't really find anything right now. Tabs? I have no idea when that's going to come out. I found another similar simulator game that's going to be on December something. It looks really fun, I'm not going to tell you guys yet. I'll tell you guys soon, but it looks awesome. Anyways, my camera is dying right now. My crappy camera, it isn't that crap, but it's dying right now. So I should probably end the episode here. I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I really do hope you remember everything in this video. If there is a vlog or any video you would watch the whole thing through, I can't talk. I really hope you understood everything I said in this vlog. Even I don't understand what I It's happening right now. I can't talk right now. It's happening again. I just want you guys to know that I'm thankful that you guys watch my videos. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.